We have come a long way since those very early experiments. These days, companies like Neuralink, Synchron, and Paradromics, I probably mispronounced half of those, but they're all racing ahead with human trials, and scientists just achieved a major brain chip breakthrough. For the first time, they've used artificial intelligence to translate thoughts into actual words across multiple languages, all by using a tiny implant. NBC News medical fellow Dr. Akshay Sayal is in studio tonight at the big board with us. Dr. Sayal, this is fascinating stuff. Can you start by just explaining what part of the brain we're talking about and how the researchers can actually use AI here to translate thoughts? Hey, Allison, so we're always learning about the brain, right? But when it comes to speech and language processing, we think we have a pretty decent idea of what parts of the brain are involved. And we actually thought we'd show you here on the, on the big board. Um, so when it comes to speech and language, we're really talking about the left hemisphere for most people. And um, you can see this area on the side of the brain here is where most of the speech and language processing happens. And for those of you out there who've had family members who maybe, you know, they've had a stroke and they're not so good at speaking, it's because some of these areas get knocked out and they lose blood flow. Um, and some of those neurons can actually start to die. I mean, so why do we care about this? You know, we have this device here and you, you, we can uh, actually pull up a, a schematic of it. You can sort of see how it's helping people. But we have a electrodes here, about 120 electrodes, Ellison, here in the left part of the brain, that area we just talked about. I mean, you can see they're essentially uh, picking up a little electrical activity of the neurons in the brain, and there's a little device here that connects to another computer that's doing the AI processing and essentially trying to predict what people are trying to say, both in English and Spanish, for the first time, Ellison. Wow, how accurate are these translations? Well, it's a good question, <laughs> right? So what we think right now is this device here is about 50% accurate when you sum up uh, both English and Spanish. Um, but Ellison, why is this important, right? Right? We, when, we, when we want to give people their speech back, especially bilingual patients, you don't want to just translate words. You want to give them their personality back, right? For those of you out there like myself who have bilingual parents, you know that they, they tend to switch a lot between two languages, and that's really what the researchers sought out to do. We actually have a video of it where you can sort of see um, how, how, the, how the patients are going between English and Spanish. You can see English here, mm. uh, please bring hot water. Um, this was a video, by the way, that was posted uh, to, to X by the researchers in the lab at, at yeah, UCSF. And a little bit later, we'll see um, Spanish or, or Espanol as well as the patients uh, try to try to uh, pick up on that too. Fascinating stuff. Dr. Akshay Sayal, thank you so much for being here and breaking that down. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.